Welcome, Bobby G here. In uh, today's video, part four of Let's Build a Fish Room, will be uh, power uh, and lighting considerations. So I need power for heaters in my tanks, <coughs> um, and uh, you know possibly power heads, uh, and also power for the lighting. So let's talk. Now that we know uh, what the aquariums are going to look like in the in the racks, uh, you know these few being examples, uh, we know that there's you know there's no space between the aquariums, uh, and there's you know there's limited space in height, uh, you know to reach my hand in there. Uh, some of them are better than others. This one happens to be a tall aquarium. Anyway, uh, along the run here, we've got a, a few outlets. Uh, one's behind this aquarium, right here. And we go down here. And we go down here. The next outlet is here. So that's two on that wall, and there's one outlet here on this wall. So that will suffice, I'm sure. Uh, I was I was concerned because my idea, you know, I got these uh, power bars. So I was concerned. Uh, m my idea was uh, when I got these power bars, was that I was going to melt them. Um, up here above the 10 gallon tanks but uh, as it's happened uh, I was able to fit these 15 gallon tanks up here and I like the look of it so that was really uh, concerning to me because that would mean I would have to mount the power bar at the top of the ceiling which I didn't really like the look of, of doing that. So after giving it some thought, um, what I decided is these power bars have clips that they just snap into. I'm going to mount it right up here at the back of the framing and that'll give me lots of outlets to work with. Uh, they'll be out of the way. The switch will be accessible if I want to turn just that one bank off. Uh, so that's going to work out really nice, and uh, they're tucked away. Nobody will see them. You know, also in, in doing that, I can put a power bar underneath uh, at any location that I that I find that I need more uh, more outlets. Uh, next, uh, the lighting. Uh, lighting is, uh, I think, a big consideration when uh, having any fish tank. Uh, it's important to to light it up properly so the fish look really nice uh, and and I mean the goal is to accurately illuminate them as though it would be natural sunlight on them. You know I also have to consider power consumption and uh, with that in mind I want to use LEDs. Uh, I've made one LED and uh, I'll show you what it looks like. Uh, there it is there. And uh, that's just made out of a metal wall stud and some, uh, obviously, some strip lights. They're pretty cheap to make. Uh, next time I make one, I'll, I'll make a video specifically on, on uh, making one of these. So I'll mount these. Uh, they'll just be loose so that I, I can take them off when I want, move them out of the way but uh, I can also have them up close to the front, uh, you know, where you need the light. Uh, so I can show you what it looks like. I mean, you can change, you can change the, uh, the color of the light. You know, 
pretty much any any combination that you want to uh, to bring out the proper colors in the fish. But uh, I mean that's the brightest. That's just white. Uh, but I, I think they look best with uh, just a little bit of uh, a violet kind of coloration. It just brings out their natural colors. Uh, so I'm, I'm just going to use those. Uh, they're, they're very inexpensive to, uh, to build and very inexpensive to uh, run. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you haven't already, please subscribe right here. And as always, have a great day.